Hello, you lovely ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengs, and today I welcome you guys to a brand new Mengs Vance Wars CO Showcase. Today we're going to be showing off the air slash naval specialist Natalie that was voted in uh, last stream. She's actually the brand newest CO to be added to the ROM. And uh, I picked a map that I think would be very good for showing off her abilities. So we're going to be playing against Misayuru on Toil Ferry. So let's go! So, Natalie, she is a uh, ear slash naval unit specialist. Uh, Natalie, Orange Star's naval aviator, a bit of a joker and an old friend of Nell's. Hit, light blue skies, miss bad weather. Her day-to-day -day is naval and air units have 15% attack and defense. All units have minus 10 attack in non-clear weather. Her normal power is called Quick Strike. It only costs two stars. Naval and air units that have moved can move again. However, they will have minus two move and do no damage this turn. So kind of like a mini lightning strike, except you can't attack with it. And you do also get a movement penalty. But it does allow you to reorganize and rearrange your unit or air and naval units. You can move them out of the enemy's attack range. You can do hit and run attacks. Uh, there's a lot of cool plays that you can do with this power, in my opinion. Her superpower is called Alpha Strike. Six stars. Every single unit in her army gains 20% firepower and one extra move. In, additional, in addition to that, her naval and air units gain one move as well. So that's two total for air and naval units. And they also get 50% uh, defense. So they become incredibly hard to shoot down for this turn. Not to the point where you could like attack anti-air with battlecopters. I would probably attack anti-air with bombers though. Uh, for example, 50% defense is a lot, and keep in mind, it's in addition to the 10% baseline, so it's actually 60% defense. Uh, again, I think it will be pretty hard to shoot down our fighters and bombers with anti-air uh, for, for the turn she pops her superpower, but our battlecopters are not going to be like immune to, uh, to anti-air or anything like that. So we'll see how uh, good she is. As you can see, 15% baseline defense to all air and naval units, so that is actually pretty strong, and we're playing on a map, Twelve Ferry, which is an air-slash-naval map. And we're also going up against Misairu, the anti-air specialists. And uh, since we showed her off last time, uh, a lot of people suggested in the comment section that Misairu-chan's cruisers should also be better. So she also gets buffed cruisers now. Uh, same buff as to her anti-air and missiles. 10% extra attack and 25% extra defense. So yeah, she also got good cruisers now, which I think is fine, because she is the anti-air specialist. Uh, additionally, we have fixed the name of her superpower. I don't know how inverse geometry became reverse ideology. I, I don't know how this happened. If it was a joke by Ephraim, or if it was like me just relaying wrong information, I have no idea. But yeah, no, inverse ge geometry is what her superpower was supposed to be named. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get to it, shall we? It's a fun map, actually. I like this one quite a bit. Uh, I always open up with uh, transports and trying to get the islands as quickly as possible. And yeah, the AI always opens up landers because it is the AI. So there are multiple uh, things. Like, I like to go for this middle base as quickly as possible. Uh, and yeah, you want several transport copters on this map. Uh, you, you, it's probably a good idea to build landers eventually if you want to attack the main island. Although you might be able to do that better with battleships. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to send a transport copter over here, and yeah, I'm just going to keep building transports. Uh, however, I'm going to be sending some infantry over here to grab the uh, properties on this side of the island. You just start off with some properties, but you have to capture the other ones as well. But yeah, the AI doesn't really know how to utilize transports very well, as you can see. But I do believe Misairu will attempt to go for the middle island at some point. But right now, she seems content with just sending her troops south. Oh, she wants to get, get, grab this base, obviously. So yeah, you can get this base pretty easily. Nothing really stopping you from doing that. And here, I'm going to grab this airport. And I'm going to be sending out, uh, out a transport to grab this airport as well. Uh, at some point, though, I probably want to start building battlecopters, just so I can start harassing uh, transports a little bit. You know, uh, what's kind of nice about battlecopters, uh, any CO that gives you a bit of a firepower increase, pretty much guarantees that you will be able to shoot transports down 100%. Because, of course, Battlecopters, normally, they do 95%, which means it's a bit of a coin flip whether they shoot the transport down or not. Uh, but with Natalie, she will not only have her own transports be uh, unable to be shot down in one turn by the enemy, which is kind of nice. Oh, I messed up a little bit here. I should have uh, I should have unloaded the unit over here so I could have gone back in one turn. Oh, well. That's okay. Now, I will actually say, even though Miss Aider-chan is the quote-unquote ear specialists, 
Uh, I think she will be a little bit bad on this map because her air units have minus one move, which I think is going to screw her over a little bit, to be honest. Now, I don't know how many more uh, transport copters I want to build here. But at some point, like, getting a battleship on this map can also be pretty nice. And yeah, you can see Miss Aider-chan is going to transport some uh, units over to the island. So we need to be able to get that base, and we need to build a tank on it or something to ward away her units. Whoever can, like, when it comes to island combat, if there is a base on the island, whoever captures the base first wins the island. It's all, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, what? Why, why are you going this way? <laughs> Doesn't make any, what? I why aren't you trying, okay, uh, I, I guess, I guess she's got other plans. Uh, that's kind of weird, but okay. All right, I don't really know what the AI is planning here, but... I'm guessing she's trying to go for one of the... Going for the southern island, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. So let's see. We're going to grab this island. And we now have this airport. So we can really start to bring on the battle copters. Um, let's see. We'll go over here. And uh, there's not really that many more buildings to capture out on the island. So I think I'll actually save my money now for something big. Like a fighter, for example, to shoot down transports. A battleship to lock down the harbor would be pretty nice. Even a submarine would be nice to shoot down landers. Because as you can see right here, like, battle copters are not great against landers. Um, like, 28% damage. They do practically nothing. And that's with a 15% firepower increase. So, battle copters, not fantastic in this uh, situation. So, I think I'm gonna go and grab this airport right here. And yeah, we could probably build ourselves a fighter if we want to. And I think I want to. Let's see, I'm gonna go over here. As you can see, I got quite a few transports now. And what's kind of nice is you can use Natalie's uh, normal power to extend the range of her transports with quick, quick Strike. Because, of course, she can't attack, but she can still uh, move her transports again. So that can potentially be pretty good. So I'm excited to see how that's going to pan out in this battle. Uh, but yeah, I do think I want a fighter. Or maybe a bomber. Or maybe a sub. Hmm. Hum. I think I'll go for a fighter first. Shoot down some transports. See what happens. So it looks like... Okay, the first battlecopter is on, the, on its way. Of course, minus one movement. Really bad battlecopter. Oh, hello there. Yeah... Okay, that's kind of bad, actually. Uh, let's see. Looks like I'll need a bit of a tank. And then we're gonna send the fighter out. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind, I'm up against Miss Aedu. <laughs> she doesn't have movement on her battlecopters. Yeah, I don't want to lose this battlecopter, to be honest. So I think I'm going to just send it this way. Wow, minus one movement on air units. Makes it really hard for Miss Aedu chan to like be competitive with battlecopters. But yeah, we have a tank here. Maybe we'll build a second tank, actually, because uh, we really want to get those units away from our island. And hey, I might... Ooh, looks like there's a fighter here. Okay. Maybe I can... Uh, hmm. Maybe I can... It would be really cool to try and beat this fighter away, and that way I can just sh hunt down all the battlecopters in the area. Let's see what happens. Okay, here comes the fighter. Now, they're, they are still, of course, very fast. And yeah, uh, Miss Aedochan's anti are also incredibly tough to take down. Even even my tank is going to do not as much damage against that anti because keep in mind, she has 25% increased defense. And if you combine that with terrain, it becomes very hard to take down those anti Oh, hello there. Now, one of the biggest detriments, I think, to having minus one move is that I can put my aircraft in range of her aircraft, but her aircraft will not be in range of my aircraft. So that's pretty bad, and uh, yeah, that lander, we have to try and shoot it down. So what I can do right now, for example, is I can put my fighter here. And this fighter is now in range of her... Uh, wait. I think I, I messed up, I should have put it here. <laughs> I'm good at this game. But look at that. 74% damage with the Battlecopters. She effectively has Eagle's Battlecopters, just a little bit better. Eagle has 15% firepower, 10% extra defense. Natalie just has a flat 15-15, so... She, her Battlecopters are actually insanely good. But yeah, they're comparable to Eagle. I guess. She doesn't get the reduced fuel cost, but... 
let's be real, who really gives a shit about the fuel costs with Eagle's units? I know I don't. Now, I'm curious, actually. 15% uh, extra defense? No, wait, no, they have 10% extra attack. I just, I was, I was wondering if maybe, I was wondering if maybe, um, maybe my transports would not be shot down, but they definitely will. They definitely will. Okay, I'm gonna try and grab this harbor, we'll see if I can do it or not. I'll put an infantry over here, and then I think, honestly, like, yeah, an anti-air, probably not a bad idea. But yeah, I know, this, this anti-air will definitely shoot down my transport. And let's build another battlecopter. It's gonna be an air battle. Oh, looks like Miss Aider-chan has her first cruiser out. These cruisers, very hard to kill. 25% extra defense on those guys. So, uh, yeah. Even though cruisers are a bit of a meme, they're gonna be pretty scary here. We're gonna need a bomber to challenge that cruiser. I very much thought our battlecopters would be able to do anything here. And yeah, this gonna suck a little bit. Yeah, that's still gonna shoot me down. But I do believe I have an umpire in range now, so that's pretty bad. There we go. This entire incredibly annoying to deal with. But we'll be able to shoot them down very soon. This is just a harassment force. They're not going to be really able to do anything. But yeah, that's there's the cruiser. Okay, so we do have our power now, and I would like to try and use it. So let's see if we can make something happen here, shall we? Uh, first thing I'm going to do is attack here. Yeah, look at that. 42% damage. These anti-air are so hard to kill. There we go, and we'll move down here. Take down the tank. Let's see if we can utilize those transports well. Uh, be kind of funny if we could go for an HQ cap. There's actually, though, no, there's a bomber here. Yeah, should have known. So how are we going to do this? We can, we can move like this. So the cruiser would normally be able to shoot our fighter down if we did this. But since I'm going to use my power this turn, that means that I can use my power to get the fighter out of range of the cruiser. Keep in mind, it's just air and naval units. So, let's see. Can we do this? 47? It's pretty good, honestly. But I would rather take no damage at all. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to use my power to get the battlecopter out of range. So let's say we do this, and... Then we do this. And we can even build a Botocopter and have it move off the airport this turn. So we'll do this, capture that. And there's no sense in trying to transport any units over on this island. It's not gonna it's not gonna do us any good. But we can do this. Very good, very good. And I worry that we're not going to be able to get that, uh, we're not going to be able to get that city, but that's okay. So we can, <laughs> we can, we can, we can transport another infantry and try to take these two properties right here. This could be pretty funny. So let's try this. Okay, let's give this power a go. I have you now. Quick strike. So as you can see right here, if you try to, oh shit, that was not intentional. That was a misclick. <laughs> so yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens if you try to attack. You have minus 100% firepower, as you can see right here. It doesn't quite show, but... Um, it doesn't quite show, but yeah, you, you do zero damage, basically. So you can still attack, technically, but you won't be doing any damage, as you can see right there. Like, even if I attack right here, you can see 1% damage. It's not gonna do anything. So this is a this is a movement power only, but I would say it has a lot of potential, especially if we do this. We can get our transports. I don't actually. Okay, yeah, we are able to do that. Same thing here. That was very embarrassing. I should not have done that. Like, yeah, one percent damage. There's no point. Absolutely no point at all. So I guess we'll just box him in like this. Nah, there's no point in attacking. And we can, you know, we can also get a little bit of extra movement with our transports. You know, there's not a lot. Like, the minus two movement penalty does seem pretty unfair, but keep in mind, this is a two-star power. So, but yeah, I don't know. I like it. It has potential. Alright, let's see what Miss Aido-chan does. Oh, she has a superpower. 
No enemy aircraft will get through my defenses. There we go. Inverse geometry. Yeah, not reverse ideology. Inverse geometry. But does she have any indirects? Uh, I don't think so. Does she? So... Okay, that's a mistake. They should only have... Okay, so that's that's a bug already. Good thing we figured that one out. So they're not supposed to retain the attack penalty on their turn. It's only supposed to be attack this turn only. So, I was wondering why the AI would go for that engagement, but now I know. So, it looks like Natalie's normal power is not coded correctly. She should not be doing that. But yeah, I don't think Miss Aedra-chan got anything out of that power because she doesn't have any... I mean, she has some indirects. But again, the AI will not utilize these new powers very well. So, let's see. How does this look? 56%? It's not great. I mean, it's still not fantastic for a cruiser, though. But, at, like, at least they're a little bit better, so... But, yeah. I definitely want to shoot down this fighter. And it looks like it's... It's, uh... Do I have yellow comet units? Or do the fighters just look really, really similar? Uh, yeah, I do believe that... I do believe Natalie actually uses yellow comet units. Okay. So if battleships get the first strike on the cruisers, turns out, uh, they're still probably pretty likely to, uh... They're still probably pretty likely to, to kill them. So, well, that's fun to see, I guess. I'm building myself another fighter. Yeah, I control pretty much all these islands now, so I don't think the AI will be able to take him off me. But I'll join together like this. And yeah, we have to do something about this incredibly annoying anti-air right now. 54% damage. There we go. Okay, nope, not quite. I think we've seen enough of these animations. Okay, I very much doubt I'll be able to get the city. Maybe if the bomber goes for this infantry instead. It could be the case. It could be the case. But yeah, still, she, she has not built... Okay, okay, never mind. She actually... She goes for the interrupt. Of course she does. I should have camped with the other infantry, actually. That was my mistake. She's building a lot of anti-air, but she's not really building a lot of, uh, a lot of missiles so far. Anyway, can I... No, I cannot reach this uh, bomber yet. But I do believe I built... Yeah, I built another fighter, so this should be fine. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. Not quite as powerful as Tundra's fighters, but still pretty good. Anyway, let's uh, attack this island a little bit. And we can also go and uh, pick up this infantry from here. And yeah, let's just keep building those battlecopters. We have to wrest control of this island away from her, like so. And I do believe building a battleship here eventually would be pretty nice. Then we can start to base lock her and eventually go for the HQ cap. After this, there won't be any enemies left. Okay. Geo defense. Oh no, those missiles get extra defense. <laughs> actually, it's all of our indirect, so that, that actually includes our battleships. So her, her, her artillery and rockets actually become incredibly hard to kill. Like, just look at this. Like, 7% damage. So it is actually, like... I think Miss Aedra-chan is best played, like, sort of like a grit, grit player, honestly. She, she should just spam artillery rockets with the occasional missile here and there. And with Geodefense, it's pretty much impossible, I think, to take down her, uh, to take down her arty. So... Anyway, uh, looks like we have this. I'm just gonna lock down this airport like this, and yeah, I'm see. I'm gonna see if I can afford a battleship because I think a battleship would be pretty cool. And these these transports are running very low on fuel, so I think I'm just gonna combine them together because it's not like I need that many of them anyway, right? And looks like I just lack the funds to build a battleship. That kind of sucks, but I think I'm gonna build myself a bomber. There we go. And some more infantry. Oh, looks like she has a missile. 
There it is, finally. Miss Aida-chan built a missile. I mean, we meme on missiles, but on this map, that missile is actually going to be pretty good. This is the reason why I want a battleship. Because, like, Miss Aida-chan's missiles, actually pretty good. Look at their range. I mean, those are grit missiles. So, I can't just, like, waltz in here. Look at that. Empire, missiles. I mean, this, is, this, this position is pretty much unwinnable without a battleship. So, I think... It's probably... I combine them together and they're still low on fuel? What the hell? And this is why we need a battleship. And this is why I brought down the fighter. Just want to lock down that airport. And yeah, I don't think I'm taking the city for as long as this uh, artillery here uh, is here. So I need to get that battleship up immediately. And I also need... Oh, wait a minute. There's a fighter here. Yeah, we don't want to... We don't want to get that bomber in range of the fighter. That would be pretty bad, so... I think I'm just gonna do this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna lure in this fighter with this transport because uh, I'm pretty sure Misaeda's fighters do not shoot down my transports because I have 15% extra defense on them. So that should result in the fighter doing 85% base damage against me. Look at that. So that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, she really doesn't want to let me take those two cities. Alright, so we have a bottle ship coming in. I'm just gonna plonk it down right here, and then I'm gonna build myself a submarine and start shooting down landers, and looks like she's not even building anything in these two bases right here. This fighter does need refuel, so I'm gonna move it back right here. And then, instead of uh, sacrificing the health of my... Oh, look at that. Sorry, I'm not gonna let you take that. Ooh, so we have our superpower right now, but I, I don't think I wanna pop it today. Oh shit, I thought my uh, I thought my fighter would be, or my entire would be in range. I guess I was wrong. Uh, maybe I should pop it then. Actually, no, I don't want to. I actually don't want to. I'm gonna do this instead. Let's see. Okay, so we want to be careful about this, but yeah, we're, I'm gonna pop my power next turn. And that's gonna give me 60% defense to all my aircraft. So that means that I can probably move in with pretty much everything I have and not take any damage. So that's what we're going to try to do. Let's see if we can uh, make something happen here. Okay, that battleship can be shot down. That's good. Oh, shit. <laughs> I completely forgot about that transport. Oops. My bad. All right, here we go. Let's try out the Alpha Strike, shall we? I have you now. I know she has different quotes. We're just getting the same ones. Alpha Strike. Alright, here we go. So that's plus one movement and 20% firepower for the entire army. And naval units gets an additional movement and 60% defense in total. So that means that our bombers are pretty much invulnerable right now. And I can even like, do this. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. Okay, I'm just gonna move my uh, battleship even for I could put my battleship literally on our port right now. Like so. The battleship cannot be killed by anything right now. Ooh, that is a very sturdy lander. Maybe I'll just shoot down transports for now. Look at that. Submarine. Two extra move. I don't need to dive. Why would I need to dive? There's no point in diving. Oh, looks we got a submarine. Which means we should get a cruiser out. There we go. And yeah, I'm definitely going to try and take this uh, city away from her now. Alright, look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Now, of course, this means she's going to get her superpower, line them up, shoot them down. But she only has, like, one missile and one artillery. I guess she can actually put units next to my battleship to get the defense. But it's just 40%, 50% in total, so it's not really that big a deal. Like, what, what, what good is it going to do her now? Attacking my battleships. Okay, I can reveal that sub with my battlecopter. 
Yeah, so for example, right now with my battleship, look at that. Look at that. It's going to do practically, yeah, it looks does no damage to units that are within, that are within two tiles of it. But as soon as you attack any unit that is not within range, it becomes a lot easier. So I'm going to shoot down this artillery, attack the missiles, and uh, we need to... Actually, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for me to take down this uh, lander since, since it's next turn. I could have killed the artillery first. I'm so stupid. I could have attacked the artillery first, and then I, it would have been no, no big deal at all. And I know there's a submarine here somewhere. Where is it? There we go. There it is. And that is not within range of anything, so that's not getting any defense boosts at all. There we go. And uh, what do we want now? Probably more bombers, I think. Yeah, more bombers and battlecopters. Eventually, we have to go for the HQCs. Maybe I should try and get some of these cities over here, actually. Yeah, just to, like, lower her income. I think I might kill her before that happens, but it doesn't hurt, right? Would have also been nice to build a lander to get these two tanks in on the action. But I think it's fine. Okay, cool. She's, uh, she's repairing that submarine. We definitely want to let her stay there. Very good. Built another rocket. And the missile is in repair mode, so that's very good. We can keep the rocket in repair mode, too, which would be really nice. And we can lock the airport down like this. Very good. Take over this property right here. And I think I'm actually going to move the battleship off the coasts. Because I want to attack her lander. We, we do know that the AI loves building landers for absolutely no reason at all. So we can do this, and looks like she's also building a recon. Uh, I'm going to keep this cruiser here, and once the sub gets repaired enough, I'm just going to start shooting on it. There we go, and more bombers. Actually, more battlecopters. I'm going to build a transport copter, and we're going to start capping the, the cities over here. Probably should have started doing that a long time ago, honestly, but hey, better late than never, eh? So as long as the unit is in repair mode, it shouldn't attack. So the rocket and missile... Until, oh, never mind. I'm stupid, apparently. Cartol, please explain. Please explain this behavior. <laughs> I thought a unit in repair mode would never attack. Oh, okay. The medium tank actually moved on to the harbor. Huh. Okay. That's, uh... That's interesting. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, let us uh, try to block all the bases uh, to the best of our ability. Uh, can we get our... I think we can get a fighter right now. Actually, we cannot. We can do this, though. It's not perfect, but it can work if we do this. And we can also attempt to get this base. I don't know if we will succeed, but we can try. And yeah, let's just keep bringing in the air units. Keep keep bringing in the bombers and the battlecopters. And we should be able to get another alpha strike soon. And that should make our units pretty much unkillable. Oh no, our infantry. Okay, so we're blocking like... She only has like one base left that she's producing units out of. So, let's just attempt to bring down this mech, shall we? And then we can finally do this. And we're going to keep the missile where it is. Because it's it's honestly perfect just the way it is. Although I would like to do a little bit of damage to it. So I'm going to do this. And there we go. We have locked down pretty much every single base now. Every single base is now locked down. So we can do this. And yeah, now it's pretty much just uh, delivering the finishing blow. Again, I'm going to keep this bomber here. Uh, it's better, I think, to just not let her build stuff. And here we go. Yeah, the battleship actually screws me over in this situation. No enemy aircraft will get through my defenses. So I actually want the battleship... I actually want the battleship away whenever she pops in versus geometry. The missile unit will actually make it kind of hard. So maybe I should just kill it. I don't know.
Oh no, she actually killed my transport, what the hell? Okay, here we go. Alpha Strike. I have you now. Seriously, I just get the same quote all over and over. I know she has like five different ones. Alpha Strike. The creator actually submitted their own quotes, so... I don't know why she keeps saying that all over and over and over. Alright, here we go. Alpha Strike. Oh shit. Oh, goddammit, the battleship. See? The battleship. The battleship is to blame. Ah, no, the missile! I have to kill the missile. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, kill the infantry. You see, whenever you fight Miss Aider-chan, you really have to think before you attack. Because one indirect unit can just screw up everything. There we go, let's send this fighter up here, block the base. And I should be able to route tomorrow. If I am not able to route tomorrow, then I don't know. I should also start building infantry. I really need to get into the habit of building infantry immediately. To increase my score. But I'm so lazy. Okay, she has like five units left. If I can't route now... She built a transport copter additionally, okay. Okay, so there's no powers active right now. Uh, we can shoot down this lander, like so. Kill the APC. Kill the transport. Does she have any units down here? Nope. No units down here. Yeah, this is an easy route. Super easy route. And again, just to be safe. I'm gonna do this. I, my technique score is usually a little bit above, uh, below 300, so that indicates that I'm not building enough units. And there we go. That's a route. Mission complete. Yes. You heard right. We have a new mission complete sound effect now. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Great balls of fire. I do believe she is quoting, like famous music songs in all of her quotes. I think that's kind of her kind of her her shtick. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was Natalie, the air slash naval combat specialist. Hope you guys liked her. She seems okay. Not like very overpowered or anything. I think she's probably one of the more balanced CEOs that we have in Minesweds Wars. Uh, I think maybe her normal power is a little bit too weak, honestly. Like, the minus movement might be a little bit too much. I don't know. Just being able to move your air and naval units again without attacking isn't that strong. It's pretty strong, but it's not game-breaking. Her superpower definitely seems very powerful, though. The 50% extra defense on her aircraft and naval units definitely makes her very hard to go up against in a naval-slash-air battle, which is what she will be good at. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me know what you think about Natalie in the comment section below. Let me know if you like the new updates to Miss Saeedu. And I will see you guys next time with a new CO update. Bye-bye!